Come on. All right. Here he is, fish on. Well, we're hooked up. Let me get the hook set. It's dark. Sorry about the glare of the lights. Yeah, the light, lighting's going to suck, but... Look at her doubled over. Well, hey, first sturgeon. That must be about four foot, huh? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and get it turned loose. Does that seem like that's getting good video? Oh, yeah, it's getting great video. So, all right. One dinosaur caught tonight. Fish on. Well, me and my mom went fishing today, Easter Sunday. Landed a big old keeper buck. Well, that's a good fish. I broke off, so I gotta go get three rigs. That's probably the only one for today. We got chores. Thanks, mom. Love you. She don't want to be on video. What'd you say? I'm either turning the river inside out or I got a good one. <laughs> They'll clear out in the middle. Working it, working it. Work it, gotta work it. No, no, no. Feisty. Somebody want to pull me Charles is hooked up on a oh, sturgeon. It's sweet, not my hand. Grandpa's rod. It feels like a good one. Okay. Hey, Dad, you trying to say something? Ah. Oh. oh, he's a jerkin, huh? <laughs> Let's go! Doing dang good. Oh, that a boy, Charles. Charles needs this right here. Yeah, he does. granddad's you. rod. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait till he comes up and sees you. There he goes. Look at there the you go, water. Who's got a hold of who? Oh, man, look at him. Okay. 200 twisted pounds of twisted steel and stretch appeal. From the beast in the east, the threat in the west. From coast to coast, like butter on toast. On toast. Shake and bake, baby. Still, Shake and bake. Still jerking a lot of line, huh? Not really. I, I got I gained quite a bit. I just He's heard close. a zip. Gaining? Come Rick. on, old pen! Well, me and Charles out here debating where we're going to put a bear bait down off in this canyon. Um, I'm crippled, don't walk real good. And seen a lot of bear down here before. Actually got some film last year of a bear. I think we're going to put it right down there. Well, we got one bag of sweet feed and nasty old cooking grease. We're going to chuck her down the hole with the sweet feed. Get that on you, Charles. That's nasty. <laughs> nasty. Charles, there's a bear on the bait. Sneak up there. Sneak up there. Wait a minute, Charles. Alright, we're Put her down there. Stop. So Charles put one in him. We got him down. We can give him a little bit and we'll head down over the hill. Way down in a nasty hole. Of course, that's where bears go. Anyway, first bear off the 2021 20, spring 
Hey, me and my buddy Charles, brother Charles. <laughs> I'm back out here at the bear bait. <clears throat> Can right head down into it. Cut my muzzle loader. And yesterday I flat missed. And I didn't miss the bear once. I missed the same bear twice. Charles is going to get a kick out of this. <clears throat> I just missed again. I was looking at the video I shot right over its back. It's 89 yards to the bait. It is downhill, so you shoot for 80, but... I was pretty dead certain I wanted to get one with my muzzleloader, but... Missed one bear twice. And I just missed this one. I'm not even gonna reload. I still got some time, but I think I need to go back to the range and shoot some more. Well, I think we're in good shape now. So there's a combo of things going on that I didn't realize. So before I was sitting right here and I was shooting at this gravel pile. There's actually another gravel pile. That's the top of it on the other side of this one. So I ranged it and it was 120 yards. So I sighted in 120 yards, 90 grains of powder. And um, I was hunting with 100 grains after I paid attention. And uh, anyway, excuses, man. The guy's gotta have an excuse if we miss, don't you? Shooting too much powder and I sighted in too far. So now I'm zeroed at 80. This was my cold bore shot right here. And then I adjusted a little bit to the right and as it heats up, it's been walking to the right. So I hit right here, the second shot with a fouled barrel and warm. So I adjusted just barely. So my cold bore shot should be, you know, if it's in the black, if I miss again, it's definitely me. And it's probably me. I'm making excuses, trying to, trying real hard. Like I said, I was sighted in at 120. I didn't have a range finder, I was guessing. Brought my range finder today, I checked it. It's 120 yards, 90 grains of bull, uh, powder. And that's a difference of 40 yards. Plus I was putting 10 more grains of powder in on accident. That was my fault by far. Everything's my fault. But um, anyway, we're zero to 80 now. The bait's 89 yards. Shoot for 80 because the angle. So I'm um, zero, I'm hitting. That's about an eight inch deal. If I miss again, it's totally me, which was me before. Make an excuse. This is excuse line 101. Anyway, no more excuses. No more excuses. 80 yard zero, both in the black. Um, cold bore shots, the one that counts. And it was in the black. And I moved just a little bit, which should put me even more centered. So going out in the morning, see if we can get this thing wrapped up and get another video out. <laughs> That's my two minutes of excuses. Got her done. Me and the old 50 cal. I actually dropped the bear right on the bait. Shot and he just dirt napped. Well, it's dark. I'm loaded. Got the bear meat in the trailer and my pack. Hide strapped on, which ain't real pretty, but we're gonna head out of this hole. Yes, sir. Got to flick it. There you go. And start feeding it. Oh, the whole thing. Just grab that whole thing. 
get, get it on there. Get the whole thing on there. These broken sticks. And start adding those to the top. And keep rolling with it. This film. I'm not a real good teacher, so that this is life skills my boy needs to know. And um, I got to work on my teaching ways, but he's got a fire going. We'll keep working on it throughout the spring. I'll get him building fire up in the woods. Pretty sweet. We're up here from where we built the shelter and why we're picking some mushrooms. We've got a pretty good little patch. Why don't you go show them these ones right here, Wyatt? So these are morel mushrooms and these ones are good. Right here, get all right in front of me. They're, they're in good shape. Every time they're gonna pick Phil. Get them in the hat. Okay. Oh, well, we like cutting the stems so they can grow more. There's a little little handful there. What do you think of that, kiddo? Pretty good picking here, huh? We'll see if we can find some more. All right. Love being in the mountains up in Idaho. Mushroom picking, hunting, whatever. Building little shelters, fires. I just spotted another one right there, What? There's a little guy right there. Well, I got a call. Brother Charles went out there with his girlfriend to the bait. They're just gonna go check it, but there's a bear on it, so they shot it. And they need some help going to pack it out. So I got the old back you mule back there loaded up. And it'll go off in the hole, it's raining. I'm gonna be miserable, but that's alright. Um, like I said, didn't get any footage of the hunt, but maybe I'll add it on to another video here. Catch you later. We shot him from? How many bears have you shot? My first bear, actually. First bear, and look at the head on this pig. He's huge, look at my head. Yeah, we're just, I just came down, I didn't get a good side look oh. on that head, but that thing is oh. a brute. Oh, that's Michelle's first bear. Luck, beginner, <laughs> beginner's luck. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, you're I'm not. not clear to the top of him either. So Charles is six foot two, and he's not even clear to the end of that there's bear. There's this much of his foot from his, like, that's much of the bear's foot sticking out. That, that's a big old bear. Good job. Come on. Pause on that sucker. My goodness. What a dandy. Well, I guess all the talking. The BSing. Good job, lady. Thank you for, <laughs> for it's because what? of you guys. Uh -huh. Bringing me in here and getting it. First bear too. What? You probably go kill a seven point bull this year too. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> me and Charles got the little ones out of the way for. Yep. <laughs> We're good guys. We're yeah, good yeah. guys. You guys are so nice. Man. Don't tell nobody. I that, wish though. I it, I could have been out here to film that. I'm but, sorry. Ah, don't be sorry. Heck, you did you did awesome. Great bear. Thank you. Great bear. Yeah. Yeah. When I was coming down here. All I ooh. seen was this paw ooh, go ooh, up ooh. in the tree. Man. Yeah. All right. Well, we got it skinned and rolled up. Look at that head. It's huge. Good job. Thank you. Now for the hard part. <laughs> yeah, the you package. got a bruiser of a head. Whew. What do you think? I'm pretty, pretty happy. For sure. Hell yeah. How can you not be? All right. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Cool. Let's get out of this hole. Yes. Big bear. Yeah, I wish we could have got that up higher on you, but buddy, it's all you. A head, a head's big as that darn Ebley stock pack. That's a big old bear. Uh, or just light my way. You gone. Oh, come on. He's stuck on branches. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Do the bike got loaded in the hunting trailer? Bear bait 2021 is done. Done skis. Oh, uh, cool. I never did get Elvis in here, it just didn't pan out. But Michelle got in here, they threw the barrel clear on the other side, tore it up. Well, we did take our three bears out of here, like we originally said we were gonna do. And we might, what do you think? Maybe we'll put on 
One in another unit? I'd say it was Carter Westbrook, like you're saying, or Carter. Oh, easy, easy. We don't want to tell everybody where we're going. Yeah. Well, then edit that out. Edit out all the F bombs and shit I do. <laughs> that was a nice bear. Yeah. That's the head darn near as wide as that trailer. I think it is as wide, actually. Hopefully, we'll get out here. I got tape in the To the truck. Congratulations. Thank you. What a, that was a productive spring, huh? Steelhead fishing, sturgeon fishing, bear yeah. hunting. <laughs> Mushrooms are popping. Mushrooms, Mushrooms are popping. popping. Yeah. Let's get out of this hole. Yes. All right. Yeah, doing a little mushroom picking. Me and my mom and my kid. Did a little patch of morels there. My dog kicked that one over. There's some right there too. There, right there. There's some right there. They're all morels. I love picking morels in the spring. We're down in some white fur. A little thicket. These ones are all looking real good. I just bought another big one. So we'll get picking and we're gonna make a fire, cook some hot dogs and have a good day today, so. Uh, I believe it's called the Gray Bearded Green Beret. He's got a video out on a fire lay that was really, really neat. You can fan the fire, so we're going to give that a try today. And I uh, normally have no trouble making a fire, but that one looked spectacular. So shout out to him. Give his channel a follow. All right, we'll get back to picking. This is what we're in. Later. Wind's going the wrong way, but... It's wetting! It went! Don't put that in there, kiddo. Keep it in there. Still burning or just smoking? Yeah. There you go. And that was the gray... The bearded gray... Gray bearded green beret. Green? Say it one more time. Gray bearded green beret. Yeah. Thanks for showing us that. All right, you gotta pile some more sticks on there now, but we got our fire going. <laughs> awesome job, kiddo. Hey, get on the other side of your fire, that smoke's blowing in. Fire lay is pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, it is. It takes a while to... Get it on there, kiddo. It takes a while to make, but... Yeah, but it went right up. Yeah. Hey, tell them thank you for showing us that. Thanks for showing us that. Who was it again? The Gray Bearded Green Beret. All right, you subscribed, huh? Yeah. All right. We're gonna cook as a hot dog and a S'mores. s'more and mushroom picking. Good job, kiddo. <laughs> I have to remember that trick, huh? It's a good one to know. Marshmallows. I don't like marshmallows. I always have to do it to try it again. And I yeah. still don't like marshmallows. <laughs> Grandma telling camping stories. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> burning a hot dog. I'm not throwing it in the ashes. Oop, now I'm burning my hot dog. Hey, kiddo, is that fun? Good day on the hill. Did a good job making that fire. Uh, can I get this to Timber? Yeah, you can give that to the dog. It's a little bit of cheese and bread. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how I cook. Yeah, black. Smoking is cooking is black. It's done, huh, mom? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Timber. Well, I haven't changed that for uh, 60 years. Huh? Eat me another hot dog and make, make a s'more. <gasps> then go find some more mushrooms. Oh. oh. Hey, that's going to oh. different. I can't area though. Yeah. All right. Well, we Dessert time. Mm, s'more. How's yours, mom? Mine didn't melt. You didn't melt. Burnt your hot dog and didn't melt your s'more. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem with golden brown. They don't melt as well. Mm. Oh. Uh -huh. Memorial Day weekend. What's Memorial Day for, kiddo? Remembrance. Of. Um, men and women that served in the military and um, paid the ultimate sacrifice, huh? Mm -hmm. Our freedom, so we can be out here. Well, all that, all of them that's gone before us. Playing co pilot. <laughs>